Kevin Miller, joined by Senator Tom Cotton. Good morning, Senator. How are you doing today? Good morning, Kevin. Good to be on with you. That's an interesting survey. It, it, I guess it omitted the option of those people who drink water only when it's cut with bourbon. Uh, well, there's that. <laughs> there's that. Got a friend of mine. That's his uh, way of hydrating, too. I understand. You know, and it's it, interesting because uh, we only kind of li- we live in our bubble here. And so we know what tap water tastes like in central Arkansas, and the water quality here is really good. Some places around the country, eh, I can understand understand why you might not be jumping in there and grabbing the tap water, too. So it's a different different scenario. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Uh, my understanding is you're going to be on uh, with uh, Lieutenant Governor Tim Griffin this afternoon in place of Doc Washburn. You guys are going to be talking a little bit. What's, uh, what's the story there with that? I am. I expect it to be a hard-hitting interview with my old friend, the Lieutenant Governor and former Congressman with whom I served. Um, so uh, I'm looking forward to that. If I can tune in this afternoon uh, during Doc's show, I think. Um, what time is that going to be? It'll be on from 2 to uh, 6. Three, I don't know what time it'll be on. I think about 3.30 Central when I'm on. All right. Good deal. We'll be listening for that. Yeah, Lieutenant Governor Tim Griffin filling in for Doc Washburn this afternoon, 2 to 6. With uh, special guest Tom Cotton. So, uh, yeah, I get to have you now here. Look, I, I've got to ask you about this. Uh, you were at the rally in Tulsa uh, with President Trump this weekend. and You were one of the first people that was really sounding the alarm and the alert about COVID-19. You were warning about it. Uh, you talked to me about, you know, there's nobody that's going to be in control. The virus really is there. But it was a little surprising to see you in that rally without a mask. What, what, what was your thinking behind that? Well, Doc, you know, I... I uh, test my symptoms daily. We had a test right before the um, rally. Uh, I tested negative. Everyone going to the rally had temperature checks as well. Um, so I thought it was prudent under the circumstances. I, I continue to do the same practices today that I've done for the last three months as well. Uh, Oklahoma is also one of the states that is farthest along and opening up. I think they're already on to phase three. All right. You aren't concerned about that being in that kind of crowd? I, I wasn't concerned personally. Um, I mean, I understand people who were, but but I was not, uh, Doc. Or uh, I'm just Doc. I'm getting ahead of myself. It's all right. Uh, I I was not con- not concerned about that. And like I said, I, I continue to take prudent steps and continue to test for symptoms daily. And uh, mm-hmm. as I said, we had a test that morning and proved negative. And uh, if um, and as, as I said, I, I think that was just fine. Right. Senator Tom Cotton, the, and, and all, along those lines, too, the president said uh, in an interview, you know, that we've really done too good of a job of testing in the U.S. What about testing? Do you think that needs to continue? What's uh, your take on that? I do. And the, as the president has said since then, that was just kind of a, a, a joking remark that reflects the incredible success we've had on testing. Um, all you have to do to see that he was joking about that is look at the actual testing results. Um, almost every week we set a new record for the number of tests that we're taking. And, of course, the more you test, the more you're going to identify the cases. That's a good thing. So we can help people who have tested positive to isolate so we don't spread more to others. But when you compare the United States testing regimen to other countries around the world, there's just no comparison, Um, especially when we face stresses in the very beginning of this pandemic with our supply chain for things as basic as the swabs that are used for testing. It's a real success um, for the administration and our states and how quickly we are able to scale up produ- production for those critical supplies. Senator Tom Cotton on News Radio 1029 KRN. I want to get a little closer to home here. Uh, China not uh, picking up chicken, not uh, taking imports from the Springdale plant there. Uh, you're thoughts on what's happened here that affects arkansas directly and also trade with china what what's that situation looking like i think this is probably an example of china using pretextual reasons again to import or to uh, um, erect barriers to imports from america um, there's no evidence to my knowledge that a outbreak among workers in a facility contributes any problem to food safety of course tyson takes great protections under any circumstance uh, to protect our food supply as they produce it in their facilities from any kind of contamination at all, anything ranging from just workers having unclean work areas to having the seasonal flu or having colds or, in this case, having the coronavirus. So I think in all likelihood what's happened here is China is once again exploiting uh, pretext to try to erect trade barriers 
to American products. Uh, Senator Tom Cotton, also to the president, talking somewhat about uh, maybe another stimulus. Uh, are you seeing anything like that happening in Congress right now? Uh, anything that you're working I, I on? Think, I think Congress will turn to that in July. We want to see a little bit more evidence as it develops for job numbers and economic growth in June. We obviously had the best jobs report ever earlier this month in June. I hope that momentum continues because we want to make a decision on an informed basis to identify um, where the aid is most needed um, as we go through this pandemic, rather than making a decision earlier when we don't have that evidence and we don't have that factual basis. So I suspect right. uh, new legislation may be under consideration in July. We'll have a little bit stronger basis to identify um, what parts of the country are still struggling, maybe what industries are still struggling uh, that could use more help. Um, we just want to develop that factual evidentiary basis to make an informed decision. All right, your chance uh, to be heard again this afternoon, 3.30. Lieutenant Governor Tim Griffin in for Doc Washburn will uh, be listening then. Senator Tom Cotton, good to have you on. Thanks so much. All right. Thank you.